everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Mountain Ridge Scarf, which you can see here in front of you in the photo. There's also a number of other photos on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and uh, you can see those there, but this is the Mountain Ridge Scarf. This scarf was designed to complement the Mountain Ridge Beanie, which is also a free pattern here on YouTube and on my blog. This scarf features uh, quite a bit of texture, a lot of front and back post double crochet stitches, and it kind of features these raised, uh, almost cables going up diagonally across your scarf. The finished product measures approximately 6 inches wide by 65 inches laid flat and that's not excluding this tassel here at the bottom which is optional. As far as the uh, materials required for this pattern you're going to need three balls about uh, 600 sorry yeah, 600 yards of a worsted weight yarn. I'm using this Woolies yarn by Lion Brand. There's about 200 yards per ball. So you're going to need three of these balls. This is the color Still Water. You're also going to need a 5 millimeter crochet hook. And uh, links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. Also there in the description, you'll find a free written pattern or the link to that free written pattern which again is on richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to take a look around and uh, don't forget to, sus to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Our pattern today is worked in rows and uh, work so you're going to start by making a slip knot And then by working a foundation chain, your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of four stitches plus three if you would like to change how wide this scarf is. I'm going to start uh, by chaining 27 chain stitches. There's 15, and 27. Once you have your foundation chain, uh, 27 chains long, or if you're changing the size, you'll need that multiple of four stitches plus three. You're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each chain all the way across. So a chain into that second chain, uh, sorry, single crochet into that second chain and then one single crochet in each chain all the way across. When you come to the end, uh, you can turn your work Now for row two, you've chained your work. You can chain three, and this chain three will count as a double crochet stitch. For row two, you're going to skip that first stitch because your chain three counts as the double crochet, then into your next stitch, and in each stitch all the way across, work one double crochet stitch. So double crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end of your work, you can chain three and turn. For round three, or row three, you've chained three and you turned your work. We're now going to begin working some of those front and back post double crochet stitches, which is going to create the uh, diagonal cable texture going through our scarf. So what you're going to do is you're going to work one 
back post double crochet stitch in each of the next two stitches. To work your back post double crochet, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in back of your work, and insert your hook around the post of the next stitch, going from the back through to the front, across the post, and back out through the back again. Yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and draw through two, yarn over and draw through two. You're going to repeat that again around the next stitch. So yarn over, bring your hook in back of your work, insert your hook around the post of the next stitch, going from the back through to the front, out through the back again. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So those are your back post double crochet stitches. You're then going to work one front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. So to work your front post double crochet, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work, and insert your hook from the front through to the back around the post of the next stitch, out through the front again, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You're going to do that one more time around the next stitch. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. So um, you're going to then work a back post, double crochet around each of the next two stitches. followed by a front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. Repeat that all the way across to your final stitch. When you come to the end of your row three, You'll have your final stitch, which was your starting chain three. You're simply going to work a double crochet stitch into the top of that starting chain three. And that brings you to the end of your row three. You can then chain three and turn your work. For row four, you've chained three. You're then going to work a back post double crochet stitch around the next stitch. So you're skipping that first stitch. Around the next stitch, work a back post double crochet, followed by one front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. Next, you're going to work one back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. And then repeat one front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches, followed by a back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. Repeat that all the way across. When you come to the end, you're going to finish off with a double crochet in the top of your final stitch. I'm just coming to the end of my row four. I have a final back post double crochet and then a double crochet into the top of that final stitch. You can then chain three and turn your work. You should be able to see those diagonal cables coming out now in your scarf. For row five, you've chained three. It counts as a double crochet stitch. You're going to begin by working a front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. Followed by working one back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. Repeat that all the way across, working one front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches, 
followed by a back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. When you come to your final stitch, work one double crochet into the top of that starting chain three. At the end of row five, you can chain three and turn your work. Now for row six, your chain three counts as a double crochet stitch. You're going to then work one front post double crochet around the next stitch and then one back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. Next, work one front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. And repeat one back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches, followed by one front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. Repeat this all the way across and uh, then double crochet in the top of your starting chain. At the end of row six, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and now for the rest of your pattern, you're simply going to repeat your rows three through to six until your scarf measures approximately 65 inches. So your row three was that one that began with the one back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches and then so forth. Once you reach uh, that 65 inches, I'm not going to do that here, I'll just show you uh, how to finish off your scarf. You're going to chain one and turn your work Yours is going to be much longer than mine. And you're going to work one final row of single crochet stitches in each stitch all the way across. So you'll chain one, turn, single crochet in each stitch all the way across. This is your very last row after your scarf has reached 65 inches. I'm just going to keep going here all the way across. I have a few stitches left. Don't forget to single crochet into that starting chain three, just into the top of it. And then you can fasten off and weave in your ends. You then have a couple of options. You can leave your scarf as is. So uh, without a fringe, the edge is fairly clean. It looks great without. If you would like to add a fringe to your scarf, then an easy way to do that is um, to cut three or four lengths of yarn. Um, these ones are about 10 inches long and you're going to put them together. This is an easy way to make a fringe on any crochet project. Uh, you're then just going to thread, let's say we'll start in the first stitch, thread those four pieces of yarn, and they can be uh, a different length if you would like, uh, depends on how long you'd like your fringe to be. Thread it through that first stitch, pull them so that they are folded over in half, and then I simply tie a knot. You can go through and uh, there are other ways of making a tassel, but I find this is fairly secure. It's not going to come off when you're washing or out walking around. Uh, it's just the way I like to do the fringes on my scarf. So you're going to pull that knot nice and tight up to the base of your scarf. 
Uh, when I work my tassels this way, I'm going to work one in every other stitch. So I'm skipping stitches in between, and you're going to repeat that all the way across. Once you are done, you can then take your scissors, trim off your edges, and you'll want to go all the way along so that it's all the same length. And uh, you'll have a nice fringe on, uh, on the bottom of your scarf as I have mine here. So that's all there is to making this mountain ridge scarf. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, don't forget to give this video a like. And uh, feel free to share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. If you do complete this scarf, feel free to tag me on social media. I'd love to see all your finished projects. So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Thank you.